everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple beaded bead with exactly 30 beads. Now this video comes at the request of a really sweet viewer. She will know who she is. And I'm going to categorize this as a bead weaving basic. This is one of those tutorials where I didn't come up with this concept. This concept has been around for a while and there's other videos out there showing you how to do the exact same thing. But sometimes it helps to see somebody else do it, or maybe if you've tried this in the past, this will be the time where something clicks for you. I've got four different examples down below in different sizes of beads to show you what this would look like done in different sizes and even different shapes. I've got some pinch beads used in this one on the very end. And you can get tons of materials very similar to this at bbcraft.com. I'll leave a link for them right down below, as well as links to some of their sets of four millimeter pearls in particular, which I think are really great to start out with when trying one of these beaded beads. I also have a coupon for them I will leave down below. The coupon code is OPAL5, and that will save you $5 off a purchase of $40 or more and they offer free international shipping on all orders over $25. So definitely check them out for all sorts of low cost bead options. And then as far as my thread and needle today, I'm gonna to be using some six pound fire line. It just happens to be one of my favorite beading threads to work with, but you can work with all sorts of different threads to make one of these beads. And I'll be using a size 11 beading needle. A size 10 would work just fine also on this particular thread. And to show you how to make one of these, I'm gonna be using some four millimeter round beads today. Just briefly before we get started, I wanted to give you one tip in particular, and that is the larger the beads that you're going with, the looser your beaded bead is going to be because more space will be available in between each of these beads. So you're gonna to wanna to go around these multiple times, many passes around the beads, especially if you're going with something larger like this. Otherwise, it will totally collapse on you. This one is done in four millimeter beads, and you can see that I've gone through multiple passes of these beads, and it's nice and sturdy. And then to give you two other examples going smaller, I've got this one done, it's even tighter, in three millimeter size round pearls. And then the tightest one yet, is done with two by three millimeter crystal rondelles. So feel free to take this concept and use it for all different things. And while I don't have these beaded beads worked into finished pieces at this moment, keep in mind that you can string directly through them and add them as beads in any of your jewelry making or other craft projects, not just for stringing onto jewelry. So these have lots of different applications you can use them in, and it's a pretty versatile project. To get started though, go ahead and pull 30 of your beads, make sure they're all the same size, and you can thread your beading needle with a comfortable length of thread. Then we will jump into this tutorial. All right, so I have my 30 beads and my beading needle is threaded. And I wanna let you know, especially if you're newer to bead weaving, don't get discouraged if you mess up and you have to start over. It took me several tries to get the hang of this particular concept too, especially when you're using all the same color bead. It's easy to get a little confused and have to back up and start over. So please don't worry if you need to do that. They're just beads and this should be a fun process. I do have a very helpful tip for you though that I kind of figured out on my own as I was making these and I think it might help you too. That is to take your 30 beads and to start to separate them. We're going to be starting out with a group of five beads in our first round, and we're gonna basically be building on top of that to make the entire beaded bead, but that's gonna be our foundation. So set aside five first, and then underneath that, for your next row, we're gonna be starting with four, then we'll use three, and we'll do that three times. And then finish up with a section of two beads. Then we're gonna go back in for another round and we're gonna start that out with three beads. So put that underneath, then two, 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 and then we're gonna finish up with one final bead. So it may help you to have things laid out like this first before you even get started. So you're going from the very bottom round, 
working left to right on your next round and for your final round working left to right down here. This will all make a little more sense as we go. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Take your five that you're gonna be working with first and string those five beads on your needle. And then pull those down towards your tail thread. You can leave yourself a few inches of thread that you can weave back in later. For now, go ahead and make an overhand knot, making sure not to get any of your beads in that knot. Make another one there and just pull this tight. And then I'm gonna make one more right there. This is just gonna stop our beads from going anywhere so you don't have to use a stop bead. And like I said, this is gonna be the foundation for our beaded bead. Next, what you'll wanna do is sew through that next bead that you get to after the knot. And we're gonna be working with our next row that we've created here. So I'm gonna take these four that we're gonna work with first and string those on, just like that. And then the same bead that you're currently coming out of, take your needle and go through that one again. Then pull, and you now have the second loop that's connected to the first. Remember, this is gonna be our base. We're gonna continue on through the next bead on the base. You can give this a little turn. Next, we have three beads laid out, so you know you need to pick up three. String those on. And we wanna connect that not only to our base ring, but also that next ring that we just created. So back up your needle, go through this round bead that we added to our new loop that's right next to the one we're currently coming out of on the original loop, and go through those two beads. And pull. And now we've got our original loop, and we've got the second and the third, and we're gonna keep moving around until we've got a loop formed around each of these base beads. So once again, go through your next bead on the original loop. You've got three beads coming up next, so go ahead and string those on. and do what you did before, connecting this to the last loop that you just created, and then going through the same bead that you're currently coming out of. Pull nice and tight and give it a little turn. Sew through the next bead on the base. Pick up your next three beads. Pull them down. Go through the bead before the one you're currently coming out of and that bead, just like you've been doing. And we have arrived at the last bead on that base ring. And with this one, we already have this side and this side in place. And remember, that's gonna be the base. This is all gonna start to go like this and gather together a little bit to form our beaded bead. And as you can see here, we only need to add two more beads to this section. That's because when we go through that final bead on our base, we can also sew up through this bead that's on the left. And we're doing these clusters of five beads. So we have these three that are in place. We're gonna add our other two that we're finishing up with in this round. Then we're gonna go down through 
the bead that is on the side there, that first loop that we created onto the base. Continue sewing through the bead that's on the base and up through the other side. Give this a good pull, and you should have something that looks like this. It's starting to want to form into more of a circle, but if I lay it flat, this is what we have coming out of this bead here, and then this is the tail thread. What I'm going to do now to get it out of the way is I'm going to place a needle on this thread and just weave it in a little bit and trim off the excess. That way we get it out of the way for the rest of the tutorial. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, that's better. Now let's continue with our final round. And to do that, we need to step up through our next bead. And looking at what we have coming up, we know we need to pick up three of our new beads at this point. So pick up those three, pull them down, and sew back through the bead before the one you're coming out of, as well as the one you're coming out of currently. Again, pull. And you can see this is what we just added. We continue with this pattern of clusters of five beads, and we just completed another one. Coming out of this bead right here currently, and we need to sew through the next two that we get to on this level. So sew through two more. Then we're ready to pick up our next group of beads, which will be two. Then you're gonna sew back through three beads. You're gonna sew back through the one on the loop you just made, as well as the next bead on this level and the bead that you're currently coming out of. And when you pull this all together, nice and tight, now you have another cluster of five. We're gonna repeat what we did and sew through the next two beads. Pick up the next two. Pull those down. And then sew through these three beads, going backwards, picking up those two and the one that we're currently coming out of. Pull nice and tight once again. And just like before, continue by sewing through the next two beads on that level. Pick up your two that you need to pick up next. And sew down through this one on the previous loop. Also sew through the next one and the one that you are coming out of. Pull and your bead is starting to come together just a little bit more. And we're at our last bead. And if you turn this so you're kind of looking at it from the top down, we started with a base ring of five beads, and there's also going to be a ring of five beads at the very top that's sitting parallel to that. So taking a look at the top of this, we have one, two, three, four beads in place that we're going to sew around to make the top ring, but we need that fifth. And that's where that one comes in. Right now, just sew up through the next bead that you get to, then sew through the next four that are on that level. So that's one, two, three, four, And then that's where you're going to pick up your fifth bead and you can sew through those four beads again. So you have that top ring of five in place. See how that comes together? And it's still going to be wobbly because you haven't gone through and connected that last bead you added with this facing. So just continue through each of the clusters of five, and I can't stress this enough, go through these a lot. The more you sew around these groups of five beads, however you want, the tighter this beaded bead is gonna be, the more sturdy it's gonna be. 
So I like to go around each of these clusters of five at least once. I usually pass through the next bead again as well. Then I'll move on to another cluster and go through those five. And I just keep turning it and going through another cluster over and over again until my bead is very sturdy. You can see how you can still mush this around. But when you look at this final bead that's done in the same exact size, when you press on that, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's very sturdy. And you see these clusters of five all the way around. That's exactly what you want, that nice geometric shape. So I'm going to keep reinforcing this going around and around all these beads until my piece is nice and sturdy. And this part is really probably gonna take just as long as it did to create the bead in the first place, so keep that in mind. And then I'll meet you back once we're at that point. All right, so this bead has gotten a lot more sturdy and I am just going to show you how to finish this off with my last little bit of thread. You can go under one of those thread bridges, make a loop, and go through that, then pull tight. Go through another bead, make another loop, sew through that, and pull tight. And do this several times to finish your thread whenever you're ready to do that. Do one more, sewing through that loop and pulling and then go through a couple more beads and then you can trim your excess so here is the completed beaded bead and what you can do now is you can back up the video if you'd like to and make as many of these as you like in the same way Try this using different types of beads and have fun experimenting with that. You can really do this with any type of bead you want. Just remember, the smaller the bead that you use, the tighter the beaded bead is going to be. The larger the beads, the more open space you're going to have around it. Don't forget you can get all sorts of different beads at BB Craft. They have lots of 4mm size pearls in particular in different kits with all different colors. And also check for that coupon code OPAL5. You can use that to save $5 off your purchase of $40 or more. And just allow a couple weeks for your items to arrive depending on your location. So that's all I have for now. I hope this tutorial and bead weaving basic was helpful for you. Be sure to check out my other bead weaving basics videos. I have an entire playlist set up for those. If you're interested in learning more about bead weaving, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've made any of these before or if this is your first time or anything else you'd like to say. You can give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it was easy for you to follow. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here because I'd love to have you back. And feel free to share the video with your other beading friends. I'll be back again real soon, but until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading.